from New York City, it's Wendy Williams. Today, T-Boss and Chili give Wendy an inside look at their new TLC movie, Crazy Sexy Cool. Plus, the cast is here too. Kiki Palmer, Drew Sedora, and Lil Mama all sit down to share what it was like playing the iconic female supergroup TLC. And the sexy Adrienne Bailon dishes about her on-screen love interest, Ja Rule, and all the latest juicy hot topics. show for you. You know, the youngest Kardashians were caught in the club. Ooh. And uh, Lindsay Lohan might be up to her old tricks. Ooh. Plus, Casper Smart, J-Lo's man, is setting the record straight about their relationship. Let's talk about it and more. It's time for Hot Topics. <laughs> Spirit. I've got the spirit. I'm wearing purple today because it's spirit day. It's, uh, a lot of people don't know what that is. I'll fill you in. It's a day to honor young victims of bullying and to show support to those being bullied, including um, a lot of the gay youth get bullied a lot. So for more information on spirit day, go to my Facebook page. Happy spirit day, everybody. <laughs> All right. So. The youngest Kardashian sisters were out in the club, doing it big, doing it. All right, uh, Kyle, uh, Kylie is uh, only 16, and Kendall, the taller one, is 17. And those girls are coming into their own, aren't they? <laughs> Cute girls. Anyway, they were at a club where the uh, theme of the night was uh, sex. And uh, it was a 21 and older club in West Hollywood. Uh, TMZ said the girls uh, allegedly got carded, but both of them presented ID saying that they were of proper age, 21 and older, oh. allegedly. And, both I and then, um, you know, they left the club. Let me just show you the picture of them leaving the club. Haven't we become judgmental as we've gotten older? You didn't have fake ID when you were 15? Yes, I, did. I know I did. When I, by the time I turned 16, I had the fake ID. First of all, because I'm taller, I was able to pass for it. If you saw these two Jenner girls, you would think that they were 21 years old. So how difficult is it with the fake ID? Now, come on, everybody. You, well, all right, I'll out myself. My co-hosts can, I guess, keep their business to themselves. When I was 16 years old, all my friends at that point were 17, and I grew up in a great town where getting a car was like a rite of passage. Not for me, because my parents couldn't afford that, but for everybody else. My friend Liz Sueda had a car. Um, um, I remember um, Leslie Schwartz had a sweet, <laughs> Leslie had a sweet drop top Mustang, and she was into punk, and we used to use our fake IDs and go to Hitsville downtown at Asbury Park, and, and, we, and then we used to party at the Empress. Um, let me see, we used to, this is back in the day, get a nickel bag from a Springwood oh. Avenue. <laughs> look, look, I, I, you know, perhaps as a grown adult, you probably thought that I'd be like, shame on those Kardashians. And really, yeah, shame on them because they can't get away with stuff like that and people not find out. You know, if we were famous when we were younger, I wouldn't have been underage um, drinking and, and doing other things that I did and that most people in the audience probably did too. <laughs> but they don't wanna say it. You don't have to be scared. The kids are all in school now. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, good for you, Kylie and uh, Kendall, not for going to the club, but for um, at least 
being cute. <laughs> but the club is a slippery slope, so, you know, Chris, watch your girls. In the meantime, Kim Kardashian uh, posted a picture of herself post-baby. It's the one, it's the first one that like we've seen her take and put on, you know, uh, social media. Take a look. Okay. I mean, really haters, really haters. That behind has its own zip code. Uh, it looks like she's turning to, because she still got a little belly, which is normal. And the boobs, we had to blur because they were a little too revealing and they were saggy. But that's, <laughs> that's what happens. I'm not criticizing. I'm simply saying that I think that she looks terrific. I still prefer the dark hair, but I think she looks terrific. There are a lot of people who were, who were saying, well, you know, where's the old Kim that we knew? Um, I'm partially saying that, but the other part is that if she never gets back to this, it'll be fine. Nothing ever is the same once you have a baby. <laughs> Nothing. The way you think, the way you drive. My driving got messed up after I had Kevin. I used to be a speed demon. Now I'm all like, you okay back there? <laughs> now he's grown, it's like, are you okay over there? You know, the way you drive, the way you cook, the way you think, the way your body is, nothing ever is the same. But um, hot body, Kim, keep it going, girl. <laughs> By the way, Kim, you know, that Kim won't be getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame anytime soon. A spokesperson for the organization said that um, Kim does not qualify because she's a reality star and she hasn't been nominated for a Grammy, an Emmy, or an Oscar. In the meantime, Lassie's star is sitting up there on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <laughs> well, I think that whoever makes those rules is really, really out of touch. Reality stars are bigger than regular TV stars these days. I mean, you know, we know Melissa McCarthy on Modern Family, but they don't know her maybe over in Europe. Everybody in the world knows who Kim um, Kardashian is, you know? I mean, like it or not, these reality stars are stars. And my thought is that they do deserve to be in the running for a Hollywood Walk of Fame star, you know? I think that people in Hollywood sometimes stick their nose up to reality TV because they feel that, you know, you're not a real thespian, you know, you didn't study at the School of Drama and, you know, you're not, we're not gonna accept you. But you know what, Hollywood, that's like me saying, because I graduated with a degree in communications and I studied to do exactly what I'm doing. But how many people who are on TV with talk shows, you know, could I be hating on? But I don't, you gotta get with the times, uh, Walk of Fame, and the fact is, is that <laughs> rappers are now becoming actors and reality stars should be on the Walk of Fame, and that's the way it is. And by the way, I would say that Nene would be next on the Walk of Fame for a star, right? And, and I would give a star to Teresa in Jersey. You know, as long as she stays out of jail and commits to doing another season so we could watch her, you know? And I don't think that they need their own section. They need to be right there, mixed up with Rock Hudson, Kim Kardashian, all of them. They all. Walk of Fame. That's it. So now, yesterday um, we were talking about uh, Jennifer Lopez and Casper and that their relationship might be on the rocks. Well, Casper, later on, after we, you know, after I went back to Jersey, um, he went on Access Hollywood um, last night to clear up the rumors. I couldn't wait to get here and play this piece of footage for you because, <laughs> wait, hold on. This piece of footage has so many moving parts. First of all, his hair, his scary stare, <laughs> that smile, and the piece de resistance. <laughs> Listen to how he talks, like very, he's very light in the voice, you know? <laughs> uh, okay, roll the piece. Everywhere I turn, I feel like the new news is that something's going on with you and J-Lo. What's going on with the relationship? Are we the, together? The, yeah. I just wanna clear up rumors. Last I was informed we were. Yeah, you're together. Because the magazines have trouble in paradise. I mean, what's truthful? But everything's going well. Everything's good. So is it? Is there any chance that uh, this goes forward? I mean, it, a marriage, that kind of thing? Or are we at Guess that level? Yes, we'll have to see. But it's on the table. We'll have to see. I don't know how you get turned on to that, J-Lo. 
And this is just one woman talking, because when you think of Jennifer Lopez, you think of the height of womanhood and femininity. Yeah. So when you think of a guy that Jennifer Lopez would be, it would be just, just man down, just yeah. man. <laughs> but I get it. As long as he eats his vegetables and cleans his room, he probably doesn't make her angry. So, you know, she doesn't have to, you know, fight with him and, and you know, he does what she says. Were you feeling him? No. Clap if, no, 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 no. Be honest, uh, clap if you were feeling him, Cass. Like, you like him, like, yeah. 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 <laughs> J-Lo, it's time to get rid of him. Uh, um, and now, would you like to see him dance? You'll be even more turned off. Notice the way he holds his hands when he dances. <laughs> so stupid, look. <laughs> I can't. I can't, I can't. He's doing this uh, new uh, dance that's big out in California, it's called Crumper. I want him to stop. I want him to stop. Jennifer, I'm calling your mother, Casper. Jennifer, Jennifer. Ixnay on the boyfriend. He was actually, he was actually on TV, he was promoting a reality show that Jennifer is producing and, it, and, and um, Casper is one of the people in it. It's a, like a behind the scenes look of her dancers and their dancers life. Anyway, all right. <laughs> the, the music producer Timberland's wife, Monique, has filed for divorce. Aww. Monique has left the building, I know. Well, you know, um, she's, they've been married for 10 years and 10, oh, married for five, together for 10 years. Monique is asking for child support, not only for their one son together, who's five years old, but for her 10-year-old child from a previous relationship. At first, I was suspicious, but I, I continued to study, and here's what I came up with. She wants Timberland to pay child support for this oldest child who's 10 because he's claimed that child is his own, in public and in private, allegedly. And I do think he should pay. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> Even beyond claiming the child as his own, apparently, you know, doing the math, if they've been together for 10 and married for five, but the, the, the oldest son is 10, that means that he met her when the baby was a little goober, you know? So the baby's father might be like an auto mechanic or whatever the baby's father does. I don't know whether he's paying child support. I don't know who he is or what. So the first time this boy could talk, you know, he's calling Timberland, Timbo or daddy or whatever it is. And yeah, he, he needs to be kept in the manner in which he's accustomed. Timberland is reportedly worth $80 million. So, so, so sure, spread the love. Now that's what Monique is asking for. There's no word on whether Timberland um, has said he's not gonna pay that or whatever, but I was just giving Timberland a heads up. I think he should pay it. Yeah. I, uh, I saw Timberland on the subway the other day. He was with Jay-Z. They're, they're actually over in, um, in London on the tube. It's Jay-Z, there's Timberland with the big belly and the gray t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, he, ga he gained some of his weight back. There's Chris Martin um, escaping from his wife, <laughs> the annoying Gwyneth Paltrow, <laughs> and uh, then Jay-Z, and they're on the way to a Jay-Z concert. There's Jay over in the corner. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lindsay Lowen may be up to her old tricks. Aww. It's time for a Lindsay update. <laughs> It pains me to, to think the way I think about her secretly in my mind, but secretly in my mind while I'm rooting for her to do it, I don't think she can do it. You know what, and you know what it is, the sobriety thing. I, I think that this, this might be another fail. This is my personal opinion. Um, according to the New York Post, Lindsay, who's 27, um, is seeing uh, a 19 year old model by the, 27 and 19, 27 and 19, 27 and, okay. A 19 year old model by the name of Liam Dean. Now, her reps are denying that they're dating, but they do keep company with one another. You take that for what it is. Um, and they were spotted leaving a club in New York where he's 19, so no word on whether he had his ID with him. <laughs> uh, leaving a club and then uh, also leaving a restaurant. And now the restaurant visit was along with her ex-assistant, uh, Gavin Doyle. What's with all the trash? <laughs> and I'm not talking about Lindsay and her friends. I'm talking about all this garbage. No. I'm Joke, I'm here all day. Um, <laughs> look, I mean, listen, so, so, um, 
So that's Gavin Doyle, her old assistant in the middle. Now you have to understand, and, and then that's the young boy in the back, um, the 19 year old. Gavin was her assistant during like some of the worst, most scandalous times in Lindsay history. I am talking when she crashed her car on the, on the Pacific Coast Highway, remember? And she switched seats with an assistant. That was Gavin. I'm talking the late nights and pie-eyed look coming out of the club. Gavin was always there. I don't know what Gavin's up to. I don't know whether Gavin is clean, sober or whatever. I'm just saying that if she wants to get sober or stay sober, then she needs to maybe get a different assistant and stop hanging out with 19 year old boys who I'm not saying, listen. I wanna speak very clearly so you understand what I'm saying. I am not suggesting that this 19 year old boy is getting high or doing anything. I'm not even suggesting that, but what I am suggesting is, He's not from New York, so he's new to one of the most exciting cities in the world. He's a 19-year-old model. What were you doing at 19? I already told you what I was doing at 16, so you can imagine what I was doing at 19. And I didn't have time for a sober friend at that particular time in my life is all I am saying, you know? So I don't like her, the company she's keeping, and I hope that Oprah's watching also. Oprah, watch her. We're watching you, Lindsay. Okay, so there's this juicy new book and it's revealing some details about a lot of different people, including Yankee star Alex Rodriguez. Well, the book is about this swanky apartment building here in New York and all the people who live in that building. Um, Kelsey Grammer had a place there and, and Alex Rodriguez. And it'll come to me um, as I tell the story, who else? You know, just to set the, set the who? Denzel. Denzel? Oh. <laughs> Denzel. Anyway, according to the New York Post, back in 2010, A-Rod had multiple high-priced call girls in his swanky New York City apartment in this place uh, two or three times a week. According to the book, his then-girlfriend Cameron Diaz arrived on one occasion to his apartment 10 minutes after the uh, two of the prostitutes left. A-Rod's reps are denying it. Can I ask you something? Why is Cameron Diaz always more single than dating? She's 41, I think she's so talented. I've read an article, she wants to be, she doesn't wanna be single, I've read articles. I think that she's an odd beauty in a beautiful way and she's a very talented actress and she's ripe for the picking. There must be, a t there must be something. Like she was with uh, Justin Timberlake for like three years and then Jessica Biel ended up getting the ring. Uh, she was with the actor Jared Leto and also Matt Dillon those are the, you know, the dating ones. And then the mixed up with ones include, I mean, you know, r randomness like Puffy and whatnot. I, I think that was just for fun. That wasn't, you know, like, oh, he's gonna marry me. Oh my God. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't, I can't figure that out. But uh, back to A-Rod. In our producers meeting this morning, um, some of the people naively said, some of my producers, why would he need to hire prostitutes? And I'm like, really? You, is that what you were wondering too? Yeah. Good looking, oh, come on, you all. <laughs> Because prostitutes do things that your regular girl won't. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? They do, th and then after they do it, they just leave. They don't nag you to take out the garbage. You know? You're all tired and taking care of kids and working all day, and, and he tries to rub up and spoon on you at night, and you're just like, oh, I'm tired. And by the way, that's an exit. Uh -uh. Oh, it's over? Not the whole show, just hot topics. We've got a great show for you. The sexy Adrian Bailon is here. She's starring in the new movie, I'm in Love with the Church Girl. Plus, we've got the cast of the new TLC, Crazy Sexy Food movie here. I know. Drew Zadora, Little Mama, Kiki Palmer are all here. But up next, the original members of TLC. t boz and Philly. Don't miss it. Tomorrow. She's young and she's hot. She's also taking on one of Hollywood's most iconic roles. Chloe Grace Moretz is here to talk about her new horror film, Carrie. I concentrate hard enough, I can make things move. I just love a scary movie. How you doing, Halloween?
It's an all-new Wendy tomorrow. Come in to pay less because everybody loves to pay less. are members of one of the most iconic girl groups in music history. They've won five Grammy Awards and sold over 65 million records worldwide. And now they've got this hot new biopic. It's called Crazy Sexy Cool, the TLC story. Take a look. All right, girls, this is what we've been waiting for. You ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, y'all. TLC, MTV, TLC. I'm the leggy leggy left eye. I'm the thing. Bring the chill, chill, and that's ooh on the TLC tip. We're girls who stand up for ourselves. You know, we're positive, we're strong, and we just keeping it real. We got a message, an attitude that people want to hear. Please welcome from TLC, it's T Boz and Chili. Before, yes. but Tion, you have not been, so welcome to the show. Thank you. It's nice to see you. Thank you. Um, you know, you're still, they still, you know, are still the most successful girl group ever. I mean, in terms of record sales and stuff, they've outsold um, um, Destiny's Child and stuff. I know what you're thinking. No, no, this is correct information. Yep. How does that feel? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, it's it a feels, blessing. It feels really great. Really, really good to know that, you know, people love us so much and our music means, you know, so much to not only the generation that came up with us, but like this new generation. Yes. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, and you guys, uh, it must also feel great to still look the way you looked when you were in the group. Oh. You, know, <laughs> I, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, you look terrific. Uh, you're sweet. Thank um, you. Thank you released uh, the soundtrack, it's called 20. Yes. And it's currently, and you're currently working on a new album. Mm -hmm. So the soundtrack yeah. to the movie is called 20. Yes. yes. Uh, what is gonna be on your new album? Ooh. All new TLC All new stuff. music, yes. Everything yes. Is. Are you, who are you working with? So um, far we worked with Rock City, Dallas, Austin. We actually did a song that um, Lady Gaga wrote called yeah, Posh, Posh Life. Life. Oh, so wow. That's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, um, you know, congratulations on the movie. Thank I had the privilege you. of uh, seeing it already. Did you see? So what, what did you think? Tens you... across the board. Really? I'm done. I'm done. I am, I'm I am, I am done. done. I can't, I can't. I mean, the casting was just as good as any of the movies that we've seen on TV, like the Rock Hudson story or any of that stuff, so the Liberace, the whole, good. Coming from you, like seriously. That means everything. Like, everything, <laughs> uh, okay. Listen, seriously. Were you all involved with the casting? Oh everything. We were involved from, you know, the script. script, the casting. And you remember when I was on here, I told you, I, we didn't, we originally did not want famous people right. to play us. We wanted to, right. you know, give uh, some new people a chance. Yes. But we couldn't find that those was people. Hard. Well, you, they're you know very I mean? specific as far as size. Yeah. You guys are little, you, like you're little girls. And yet, you know, you're, they go, I mean, that, the height thing is a big deal. I could it not be in TLC, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and also, and also, the, you all were like, that, the same size, same height, and you all had like the same attitude. Mm. It's a miracle that you didn't know each other before, but you I were know. brought together it's in a the chemistry. Chemistry, yeah. the chemistry yeah. exactly. is so important. Mm -hmm. Little that really mama brought it together. Little mama playing left eye. Oh my gosh, she did such a good job. Yeah. Um, contacts because I know little mama has yeah, hazel green eyes. Mm -hmm. Green eyes. Um, all right. The only, the, my only thing about the movie is I wish that I saw more of the drama regarding Pebbles. I wish I saw more. Like, we get the tip of the iceberg. The, <laughs> the movie reveals that their manager, Pebbles, had a lot to do with TLC and their money, or lack thereof, issues. Right. Um, tell how, t for people who don't know, how did she, how was she involved in ripping you all off, allegedly? <laughs> it, it wasn't just her. I do wanna say this first, just because to clear the air. Mm -hmm. We have no problems with Pebbles no problems. at all. Okay. Yeah. We did not slander her. This movie is from our perspective of 
what it's happened to us. We did not and it's lie. very true. We did not lie. And yes, you're right. We did not tell everything that could have been told. No, we kept it clean. It should have been four hours. Yeah, no, but you know what? We wanted it to be. I know we did. It could have been. We really, yeah. really did. And the thing is, I mean, yes, she did help us put us on the map and all of yes. that. And you know, it, it was a combination of things. You know, including, what I'm saying? I mean, including like, you guys' I, own naivety uh, to be twenty-something-year-old girls. Nineteen. Twenty-one. Twenty. Nineteen. Yeah. Yes. But you know, they used the same manager as, or lawyer as Pebbles to sign their papers. Yeah. So the lawyer didn't have their best interest. Right. Instead, you each should have had your own lawyers, and exactly. that's kind of where it tumbled from there. Yeah, yes. because we yes. didn't know what a conflict of interest was. And then I saw. Well, she was our manager. Uh, Basically, almost Pepitone like a yeah. Was a, stood for Perry and Antonio Reese. So the production company was her husband and hers well, together. Well, she, she merchandised everything. She uh, apparently got a little copy of the movie too and saw it. And I was reading on Twitter that she's going to lawyer up and get she you all. She seen, hasn't seen she it. Has not she seen wants the movie. to. She says she wants to sue us if she doesn't see it. But I think she'll probably want to sue she, us. But you know, we didn't lie. <laughs> I, I, we did not lie, though. You, you told your story. We told yeah. our story, and you know it was really difficult. It's funny because Lisa and I used to tease TT all the time because really I think she was Pebble's favorite. <laughs> she didn't get it like we did. <laughs> In what way? Uh, I well, think she, but you know what? I think she based it off of attitudes too. But she would play two ends to the middle. I think because she would tell you you were her favorite, and she would tell Lisa the same thing. Because after we all had conversations, we all we all got that. Oh, that sounds so high school. But let the other two tell them, okay. Okay. Yes. You know, I'll, I'll tell <laughs> you, I enjoyed seeing you all's story, but I would love to hear, like, Pebble's side of the story as to what, you know, was yeah. going on back then. Oh, she would then. love I to tell you, honey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to start to follow her on Twitter yeah. just so I can find out what's all going on. <laughs> now, um, T-Boss, uh, Tian, yes. you are single. How yes. is your daughter? She's here and she's great. She'll be 13 on the 20th. Aww. So I have a teenager. Yeah. How is the dating scene? I'm a weirdo. I don't date. But everybody I've ever dated, because I've had... You know? No, I've had five boyfriends and one husband, OK? So this is what's funny. Everybody who's ever dated me, you have to take me and all my friends out. <laughs> okay. Right. No, and because because I don't want to get stuck with you touching me, kissing me. I don't know you like that. You know what I'm saying? So if I don't like you, I can go, we all had so much fun. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you know what I'm saying? There you go. You and might you be single for a little bit longer with dating yeah. girls like that. <laughs> no, and you don't need to laugh. Because yeah, the last time I saw you, you have you have standards that'll keep you single for a long time, no, too. You know what? Every guy I've ever dated went for it. My husband. My last boyfriend, they all took my friends out. Mm -hmm. And then once I have a comfort level, then I'll go by myself. Run. Is she still single? She's dating. I'm dating. OK. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Up next, dating. everybody, the stars of the movie, Drew Zadora, Little Mama, and Kiki Palmer are going to join us. And the girls are going to stay here on the couch. <laughs> really bring the TLC story to life, and they do so well that sometimes it's hard to tell fact from fiction. Take a look. Please welcome Kiki Palmer, Drew Zadora, and Little Mama. Wait until you see this movie. Congratulations, ladies. Oh, thank you so thank much. Yes, thank you. great casting. Yes. Um, you know, there's something that I wanted to, to bring up, um, and that is there was a point in TLC his, history where uh, Pebbles kicked Chili out of the group. Oh, Chili oh, played right. by Kiki. Mm -hmm. um, why did she kick you out? Do you want to say that? <laughs> or we'll, we'll say, no, we'll save it for the, save Honestly, it for the movie. Well, no, I'll, I'll just say this. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a little background of what wasn't in the movie. Yes, I got kicked out. At first, I was told I was suspended. Mm -hmm. And then I'm thinking, OK, but I really got kicked out. They were trying to replace me. 
and uh, and in, and could not. And in order for me to get back in, I had to agree to go to, to go to therapy. therapy. Yes, mm -hmm. because so how did... growing up without my dad probably like made me loose or something. But I was <laughs> gotcha. in love with Dallas yeah. at the time. You know. So, so how did you feel when they kicked you out of the group? Yeah, I felt like it was crazy. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> <laughs> After you know, Chili and I, we talk, we spent a lot of time together, and she, you know, was very open with me, talking to me about the whole situation, and you know, it was just kind of crazy. It was, you know, it really made no sense. It was, you know, like she said, kind of a judgment in a way. And Drew um, and Little Mama, all three of you girls, did so well. What was your favorite part about doing the movie? Oh man, definitely doing Scrubs. Scrubs was crazy. I mean, first of all, yes, yes. Well, where well, was it? A... In your basement? Where do you we keep? We had it in storage. Storage. All, all, all of our who, stuff. Who owns all of our it? Outfits. We, we do. do. Oh. She wow. has everything. Yeah, everything was sent <laughs> to my garage. I put it at my house at Thanks. first. <laughs> no, 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 I sold my house, so now she can feel what I was feeling the whole time. I heard that you all did, um, had to buy back the name of your group from Pebbles for a million dollars a letter? A letter. Yeah, three million bucks. A million for a T. Uh, yeah, yes. I mean, sorry for you, but brilliant for her. Yeah. Good right. one, Pebbles. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that was good. That, hey. Hey, payday, um, right? A little mama, um, the, choreo uh, the, the choreography, was it difficult? Well, not for me, for Kiki and Drew it was. Oh! <laughs> it was nothing. It was, it was easy work for me. It was easy work. Put them in the ring with me, they can't beat me. <laughs> <laughs> um, that each of the three girls has a personal connection in a weird kind of way with each of the members of TLC. Mm -hmm. We'll go down the line. Kiki, what's your connection to Chili? I think we both have similar spirits. Chili is very just uh, bubbly, you know, type of person. She's always ready to have a good time, and, and that's the same type of thing I am. That's why we got along. The talent well. show in school. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 the talent show. Okay. So, okay, so I will say, t tell you guys this. When I um, first ever discovered TLC, it was with Scrubs, and I mean, I just totally and completely adored Chili. I was like, okay, that's me. That's who I, you know, I just, I would look, sit in the mirror, and I would sing, and I would like pretend to be her, and it was so surreal for me. It, when I had we had to sleep over at our house, I was like, I hope this isn't weird when I tell you this, but this is a dream come true for me. Oh you don't God. understand how much this means and to she, me. And she performed the song, uh, one of their songs at a talent show yes. in school. I did, I did. Aww. Drew. That's awesome. Your connection to Tion, who you played, is absolutely scary. Wow. Yes. It, it really was. I mean, when I was younger, I, my friends and I, we would put ourselves on tape, and I was always t -boss. I just related to her, and I didn't know until I got the audition, and I was on Google researching. I'm like, wow, okay, we're both from the Midwest, I'm from mm -hmm. Chicago, and we're both Taurus women. And then, yeah, 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 that meant a lot to me. And then, <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I got this. And then she, you know, her struggle with sickle cell, and I've been the spokesperson for sickle cell. Because her dad, her dad is a doctor who yeah. specializes in. Yeah, we would attend a summer camp since I was like eight years old uh, that's to a sickle cell camp. That connection is crazy. So, yeah. Yeah. And little mama, your connection to the dearly departed left eye. Oh, um, very spiritual. Uh, stuff was knocking over on set, and every time I did a, a dark scene, um, like an ambulance would pass by or a siren, and then it had to shut down. Uh, yeah, and I get this really like deep moment to think right before I shoot. Drew and I shot a scene, and she was like, "Did you notice that every time you shoot a dark scene that?" This happens, and I looked at her and I said, "Yes." Um, playing left eye, um, was it hard to get feedback from people prior to seeing this movie because she kills it? But prior to that, I mean, even I said, "I don't know." Uh huh. You know, I said, "I don't know whether she can do this." Was it what? Oh, difficult getting feedback from people. Um, um, yeah, I wasn't really looking for feedback. Yeah, I wasn't really looking for feedback. It was, um, it was a, a very personal uh, relationship between me and God yeah. going on this um, yes. and, and my journey. And I believe that it's my testimony because, you know, a lot of people doubt you. So when God works through people like Tion and Chili to see something that other people don't see yes. or to even block out whatever everyone else is saying, well, you know she did this and you know she did that. Y'all gonna work with her? You know, for mm. them to be like, get out of here. Well, I think it's you terrific know? that you two were on the set. Now, the casting... The casting of young Evan Ross as Dallas Austin, I yeah. thought was great. I don't know Dallas. How did he do as Dallas? I thought he... He did, he did a great... He did actually, a great uh, Dallas um, asked him to do it. Mm -hmm. And so he and Evan are very, very good friends. And so, you know, he was able to give some insight to Evan. Evan stayed at Dallas's house and everything. And, uh, you know... Yeah, I told, I told Dallas, I said, Dallas, now you know you never called me baby. He said, yes, I did. I said, no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> but I was there. Well, it was nice catching up with you two. And you three ladies, you did a bang up job. Wow. I, oh, studio you. audience, studio audience, you're all going home.
with TLC's new album, 20. Thank you all for being here. Crazy Sexy Cool. Crazy Sexy Cool, the TLC story airs Monday night at nine o'clock on VH1. Watch it with a snack. Did you know that friend to the show, Haley Duff, started a cooking career? She's here, and she's whipping up some healthy treats from her new cookbook. I think I'd have a really hard time pretending to be this person if I didn't really love food the way that I do. Food and friends, my two favorite things. It's an all-new Wendy, Monday. Welcome back. It's time for Ask Wendy. How Hi, you Wendy. doing? Nathan. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, Nathan. <laughs> How can I help? Okay, so my ex-boyfriend was dating my, you know, of course. So my friend is dating him now. Now, let me just tell you this. We're no longer best friends. Okay. Okay. So do I call my ex-best friend and let him know what's going on? Let him know how karma can be? Or, you know... Yes! Stab that relationship. Easy. Yes. Okay. You call up your ex-best friend and you let him know your boyfriend's calling you. And okay. don't entertain the boyfriend's calls. Uh, okay. call, otherwise, karma comes back around to you. Okay. Say, so, you, okay. you know what I'm okay. saying? All right, Nathan. Okay. You got a problem? I'll help you solve it. <laughs> up next, everybody, the very beautiful Adrian Bailon is here. Just a click away. Go to wendyshow.com and click on Shop Wendy. T-shirts, my diva fans, my favorite mugs, and more. How are you shopping? <laughs> Our next guest is a former member of the Cheetah Girls, and she's now starring as Church Girl in the new movie, I'm in Love with the Church Girl. Take a look. God doesn't care about what you've done in your past, what you're in the middle of right now. He just wants you to come as you are. You sure about that? I'm positive. Look, the Bible says, what causes a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Please welcome Adrian Bailon. I, I just, just thought I should say that. I was just gonna ask you, have you, did you? This is my first time meeting them and I'm obsessed. I almost <laughs> passed out backstage. It's a really good yeah, movie. Especially being from like a group like 3LW, we absolutely looked up to them so much. That's so. right, 3LW. Yeah. Cheetah Girls and 3LW, was that the same thing? Uh, no, 3LW was first. And then we auditioned to be a part of the Disney che franchise. The Cheetah, Cheetah Girls. Girls. Yeah. You've been around for a long time. 15 years. Yeah, good for you. Nuts. Um, Thank you so much for agreeing to be my son's date yes. for his 13th birthday. Oh, that was the most incredible birthday party I've ever been to. Oh. I turned 30 in a week. <laughs> I'm praying to have a party that was just half as fly as his was. It yeah. Was amazing. I, I mean, I loved, like, what you wore, because you brought the sexy, you know, you didn't just, Thank like, you. a church lady. <laughs> you know, you brought the, you know how these kids are at 13. They, they yeah. want to see all that. And, but oh, but it, it was so respectful. Thank you so no, much. I had such a, he's such a good kid Thank and you. fun and Thank you, a good time. So now you're about to turn 30. What are you going to do? I am going to have a party. It, it won't be as fab. Meek Mill is not going to come out and perform. <laughs> but it'll be cool. I'm excited about it. And then I'm going on vacation. Yes. A surprise vacation. I don't know where I'm going yet. Well, who are you going with? I'm noticing three rings on your left hand. Is, is the one on the... the are you married? No. <laughs> are you, no. Are you engaged? No, neither. Are you Just in love? Have, yes. Oh. That explains the glow. I'm like, yes. Yeah. How long have you been with your, um... Four years. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Should I ask yeah. who it is? Yeah. Is it... I like to keep it private, and I think... I feel like you live and you learn. Obviously, everybody saw my past relationship on TV. I think with something... Rob you, Kardashian. Something you gotta keep sacred. And if you don't do something and learn from it... Yes. ...and change it and do something different... Yes. ...then it was pointless. And... Yes. I get it. Yeah. Respect on that. Um, is this your first leading role, Church it Girl? It is. And it's my first time playing my age. <laughs> Right? As an adult. Well, I would imagine because of your height, yeah. you've been playing... 16 when I was 26. So oh. I played always 10 years younger. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so um, this is your first leading role. 
Are, have you, when you were young, I understand you were discovered something having to do with the church? Yeah, I grew up singing in church. I actually grew up Pentecostal. My mother's a Sunday school teacher, my dad is a worship leader. Uh -huh. So I am a church girl. Wow. Shocker. <laughs> Full circle. Yeah, and I actually, uh, Ricky Martin actually discovered me singing with my church choir and I ended up doing some stuff with him and that's kind of how I got in the game. Wow, well you are a survivor. Okay, <laughs> so, um, this past summer, there was a sneak peek in a few cities in the country of your talk show, The Real. The Real. It's, it, it was, it was like, it was like, it's like The View, except with twerking. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> All right, I haven't seen anything, um, but I t tweeted you guys that I love this show, yes! and I'm sure it'll get picked up. I uh, hope so. What, oh, you haven't heard anything? We haven't heard anything. Um, hopefully this month, by the end of this month, we'll have an announcement to make, but we have our fingers crossed. I mean, me and the girls had an amazing time. To, yes. I kept it too real. Sometimes I'd watch you the show and be really like, really real. who told me to say that? <laughs> my, my mother was like, really, Adrian, really? <laughs> but I think that's what made the show great. The show was cool because we really did keep it real. You thought it, we say it, and I think um, that the casting made it different. Us, we got along as sisters. We yes. didn't always agree. Yes. But that's what made it interesting. That's what makes it interesting. Well, good luck with everything. Thank you. And again, thank you for being his no, date. Amazing time. So thank much. Uh, Adrian Bailon, everybody, and her new movie is I'm in Love with a Church Girl, and it hits theaters tomorrow. Up next, we're going to have your audience eye candy of the day. Keep it here. I'm here with Terry Prusak, and she's from the Philadelphia area. I love your outfit because it's Spirit Day, and it's purple right down to your nails. Yay! Thank you. How you doing? How you doing? Good. I love purple, so it's Spirit Day for me every day. Um, and when I got this outfit, under $125, my mom saw it, loved it, went out and bought the same outfit. Perfect. <laughs> well, here's your diva fan, Terry. Oh, thank you. Yep, it's How You Doing Diva Fan for your audience eye candy. All Everybody, right. uh, this is Terry. Thank you. We'll be right back. Another fun day here at the plant. Oh, I want to thank today's guests, T-Boz and Chili. So nice to see you again. Kiki, Drew, and Little Mama, thank you so much. And Adrian Bailon, you're like family now, girl. Of course, my co-host, my studio audience. Thank you so much for being here. Tomorrow, the star of the new movie, Carrie, Chloe Grace Moretz is here. And uh, we'll also have more juicy, juicy hot topics. I love you for watching today. And I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye.